okay, it happens to a lot of guys. You never know what radiation exposure can do to your semen. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Look, please don't blog about this, baby, because I never had this happen before. <gasps> oh, no! Yes, Master? Well, get your ass back down to the training facility! I know I'm late for the sexually arousing training montage. I was just, um, tending the garden. Are you even listening to me? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, Master. You're not just late, you're filthy. You have pollen all over your face. You fucking the plants again? <laughs> Master, why have you never told me about my parents? Huh? You were abandoned here by your ninja parents after they died. They killed themselves for reasons we will discuss in a future episode, trust me. But for now, I just want you to think of yourself as the chosen one. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I didn't order an anime whore. I had lived by myself for many hundreds of years. Yet I was prevented from being near children. After a bit of a misunderstanding, you'll find a blue square over my house on the internet now. That is a thing that I can't discuss. It was just an innocent swimming lesson. Anyway, I raised you in the traditional way. Instilled you with the proper sense of a woman's place. Cha-ching! I trained you in the dark arts vital for fighting evil. I made lots of long-winded speeches that made no sense. As the wind flows, so the spirit departs. But then, what about memories? What are they? They are all we have left with. And then the stew just reads in the wind. Like the stars of the province in Hao Hu. They sound simply ephemeral, yet they are as dust in the hands of a man without legs. Such are the ancestral spirits that summon us all. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Master? Concentrate! Focus on my cod philosophical jibber jabber! <gasps> yes, I think you understand now. <laughs> hey, you are nearly one with the sword, yes, yeah. Soon you'll, you'll be ready for two swords at once. <laughs> then you get pay extra. <laughs> but how do I know I'm destined to be a great warrior? And why do I always have to wear such skimpy clothing for training? And why do I have to have a cute teleporting animal psychic who never does anything useful? Saki! Oh, Saki, you made a mess, you annoying turd! Why? Merchandising, of course! You have all the makings of a great warrior. Eyes as big as saucers, natural pink hair, ridiculously huge breasts, a hairless vagina that you have no shame in exposing. Pencil-thin arms, come on! You are ready for the final test. Now you're ready for final awkward transformation montage. You are the only hope we have. Save your dead ninja parents' souls. Team up with a moody, angst-ridden, overly effeminate, androgynous, sword-wielding teen boy. Defeat the alien armada. Loop animation a lot to save production costs. Just like last time? Yes, only this time. Futurist Tokyo is not under threat from the forces of darkness. It's not? No! 
It's under the threat from the forces of evil. Now, trust me when I say this. I'm a total expert in this area. The forces of evil just can't stand the forces of darkness. They can't? No. Please, so one is East Coast, the other is West Coast. I mean, if you listen to the way that they sound, it's completely different. One doesn't even use instruments in the tracks. The other one is all like looping and like... <laughs> You know, like that stuff. They tried group therapy and everything, but it hasn't worked out. Let's head to the next scene because I'm talking nonsense again. <laughs> oh, yeah! Stupid bitch! Oh. Wahoo! <laughs> 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 oh, Ooh, yeah! Hey, why didn't you help me? <laughs> oh, do horny to fight crime. Why do I have to say that line in every film? This is terrible! Merchandising! Oh, okay. That sounds artistic. Oh, excuse me. What's wrong with you? Are you blind? What? Well, yes. I'm so sorry, me and my big mouth. My sight was taken from me by the Shogun of Tepenyagi. It was this terrible hibachi accident. The onion volcano was too powerful, and my parents were burned alive. I'm a blind samurai. I'm unable to love. <laughs> You're not exactly a samurai. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, then you picked out the wrong costume. Shut up. This outfit is easy to make into a plastic doll. <laughs> Well, I wanted to be a ninja, really, but like, I mean, your parents are ninjas, and like, they did, which is like, even better. So like, they made me into like, this goddamn samurai, like... Yeah? Well, I'm a sex fantasy for creeps. Oh, that sucks. Tell me about it. Anyway... You wanna hear something that sucks, okay? The last thing I saw was a man flipping shrimp tails into his hat. Imagine that, okay? Get your mind around that. Flipping shrimp, like on a cruise ship. Forever. For eternity. Terrible! What a strange way to go blind! Well, at least he won't be hard to find! I could help you get revenge on the shrimp tosser who took your sight! But it won't be easy. He has restaurants at strip malls across the world. What's your quest? Visit the graveyard! Um... I have to visit the graveyard. And pick up a carton of redwood lights on your way home. Remember, lights, not the menthols. I am jonesing. <laughs> it's so sad. This isn't the right graveyard, but it's the only one I could find. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna stand here and look moody, okay? Fair enough! You're blind and you're dressed wrong! Shut the fuck up, bitch! You're jealous! Come on, let's get out of here before anything interesting happens! Asian culture is so much better than America! I totally love this place! I think I was Japanese in a past life! Plus, I have a tiny weenie! What? Ah! Oh no! Use Panty Machine, come alive! It's a terrible cliche! <gasps> this is it, the final fight sequence! Oh, another fucking montage! Help! I'm poorly dubbed and we're running out of funds for translation! This story makes no sense! Hiya! Take that! Ooh, I'll scratch you! Dead body freezer box telephone! Yes! Translation problem! Uh-oh! Monster, monster, rapey time! Remember your training! Merchandising! No! Submitting to bizarre male fantasies of women in a completely non-misogynistic and sexually healthy way! No, I never got that part in training. Hey, get out of there! Well, look, just lie back and think about merchandising. Holy ninja, you can fit all of that up there! Help! You're on your own now. I'm sorry. Blind boy whose name I can't remember! Help! I can't. My translator is a maroon. I'm sorry, girl. Hiya! This is horse chat! I'm being raped by a robot and helped by a blind chump with a dodgy translator while my master is a sick old pervert and I'm completely out of montages. This calls for a cliffhanger. Saki! Oh, Speedball makes Saki sick. Help me, someone! Hey, what about my dead parents' souls? Oh, shit. 
kid, the script writers, forget about them again. Oh, oh boy. Join us next week for another episode of Princess Robot Bubblegum. And don't forget to pick up the feature-length film that went straight to DVD. The saga continues in Princess Robot Bubblegum and the Kitty Lover Shiny Bikini Ninja Super Party Time Dimensional Dragon Hole. And pick up the video game available for handhelds. Princess Robot Bubblegum LXVII. Repress Destiny Sparkle, the action RPG. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, too many numbers. And of course, trading cards. Uncensored manga and collectible figurines for lonely people to stick on their desks in lieu of friends. Plus, an assortment of other quality branded merchandise. Too horny to fight crime. Visit princessrobotbubblegum.com. <laughs>